God bless you beautiful people on YouTube and on Facebook out there today. It is Friday. I'm calling it Lazy Friday today, man. Just lay around and relax. It's going to be a little warm these next four or five days. So you get your air conditioner turned on before you leave the house so it'll be nice and cool when you get at home. Hope you got air conditioning if you're a car, uh, in your car. And if you don't, uh, do the old school air conditioning. Go, go 50 miles an hour and get that air going in there real nice and cool. Well, God bless you all. I just want to pray before we dive in here because this is such a touchy situation we're going to talk about today. It's not really touchy for me because I just know the Bible. I read the Bible and I just believe what the Bible said. And if God said it, I go with God saying what people say. Hey, that's what you say. People can't give you heaven and hell. So you have to make up your own mind and believe that God is not a God of, of uh, he's a God of order not chaos so he tells us the truth so we can uh, know what to do in our life that's why he started off with the com Ten Commandments uh, that we will have a guideline on what our morals should be thou should not steal thou should not cover our neighbors thou should love our neighbors as they love themselves to give us an idea on how we supposed to act if not we'll be running around here doing everything Taking people's money, as soon as you come out of the bank, you have no morals. There's morals and rules and things set up for guidelines. And we as people, we have started changing the morals of the Bible, which makes chaos. And then God don't like chaos when you start being evil and doing what you want to do. And you can read through the Bible how he destroyed everything with Noah when the people was in chaos. The men was going with their daughters. It was just a lot of crazy stuff going on. But we don't want to continue to do crazy stuff. And we want to be try to try to be true to the Bible and straight to what it's saying is possible. And don't let your thoughts uh, be your decision. Let God's thoughts. Let me read this in your hearing and we're gonna jump in there. But the question people have been asking me, should women pastor uh, over men or over a church? And everybody have opinion, but it's nice to have the right opinion. And I'm not the smartest guy on the block, but I guarantee you, I'm not the dumbest one on there either. So uh, I'm going to dive in, in here. And like I said, my opinion it is um, I don't think that women should oversee uh, a church over men. But there's a but. If I had a passed away and my wife had a, went on to pastor the church, I think she would have had enough knowledge to be looking for a young man or a man with a wife, uh, respectful like we're going to read, to take over the church and she could still do her pastoring with the women, pastoring the children, uh, and then don't try to fall in that role. And that's what I want to really key on today is because I think we're missing uh, Alexa, turn it down. I, I think we're we're missing we're we're missing the roles. This is where God started off with Adam. He started off with Adam. Then he figured that Adam needed help me. He made a woman. But a woman's role, uh, it's not a question whether women can preach better than men. Now, there's women that blow you out of the box preaching and know the word back and forth. I'm not de denying that. There's women firemen, women police. Women doctors, women, women lawyers, it's women everywhere. But God is saying, stay in your role. There's a role that he wants us to take as a man and as a woman. Let me read this in your hearing. We're coming out of 1 Timothy chapter 3, verses 1 through 5. And I'm going to read it slow so we can really get down. And if I was going to put a, uh, a title to this message, I would make it He. He. H-E. He, that would be the title of this message. He. Let me pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we're asking you right now to just to bless us with this word and let this not go into ears that's not trying to hear it and not let it fall on ground that the weeds choke it out. Let the words be true that I say out of my lips to give to your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let me read this in your hear. We're coming out of 1 Timothy chapter 3, verses 1 through 5. This is what it reads. Here is the true worthy saying. Whoever aspired to be an overseer desired a noble task. Now the overseer is 
to be reproach faithful to his wife. Temperate, self-control, respectable, hospitable, able to teach. Not giving to drunkenness, not violence, but gentle, not quarrelsome, not arguing all the time, not a lover of money. He must manage his own family well as he see this is, excuse me, he he must manage his own family well and see that his children obey him. And he, and he must do so in the manner worthy of full respect. If anyone, if anyone does not know how to manage his own family, how can he take care of God's church? Well, you can read it for yourself. That's 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. Now, what I want to key on is not that I'm here to say that women cannot pastor a church if 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 I if I had a if my if I had a passed away and my wife uh, had a pastor to church, I think she would have had enough knowledge to know that she must try to find a man to oversee the church. She could pastor uh, the women. She could pastor the children. But the overseeing of the church need to be pastored by a man. Now you can go through scripture, you can look at all, but it's, I'm not battling whether women are better or not. And I'm not battling to what is God, is God angry with that? Because he's not. Matter of fact, if you weak men would get up and, and take the mantle and, and wouldn't have turned the role where we not in the family no more with the women. Women are on their own now. now. They're not waiting on us no more. So they're taking over. And I'm sure God is, is not mad at women for that. But God wants us to understand our roles that we, we play. And as a man, I need to take the role as a man. And Paul even said that it takes us back to when Adam and Eve, when he made Adam so to help to uh, let us know how to uh, govern and, and run a church. So my answer is I don't think that God want women to to go at this role with an ideal of I can I can pastor ain't no ain't no man gonna be telling me I can't pastor. if you're going in it that way that's the wrong motive if you have to pastor that church because there's no pastor and they voted you to pastor that church the church did then it's something about you I think that God is going to use. There was great women that got used in the Bible. God is a changing God. I, I, I just go by his word. I stick to his word. And like I say, I think men should oversee a church. Uh, I think we all have roles to play. Uh, it does not mean that a man is more qualified with God than a woman. And it don't mean that a woman is more qualified with a, with a, than a man. And it don't mean that the husband is more better than the woman and the, and the, uh, than the wife. It, and they have roles to play. Once you learn to play your role perfect, then God just look at you as doing a great job as being a person and a human being. So the fight is not whether I'm battling against, I don't think no women should be up on the pulpit. Now, I'm not battling like that. If a woman is up there, bless her, because she's still trying to get people to God. But God's order of it, I'm, I'm still... I'm on that because I don't want you to take me to the left because I personally don't care. I, I know what I need to do. I know what I believe in and I know that I face Jesus Christ and not you. So I need to find out what the Bible saying, what I believe that's the truth because I don't want you to give me heaven or hell. I don't want to go to hell because something I did because you said it. I If I go to hell, I want to go to hell because I misinterpret what God is saying and did the wrong thing. Do that make sense? Well, I love you all out there. I think women are great. I think you should lead her if you have to, uh, but just learn your role, know your role, and don't get managed. Don't get uh, butchy doing it. Just stay a woman. Um, and, and I thank God I, I love you just as well as I love men up there, but 
that's not my call. I'm just saying that what God says, he want a man there. My opinion and what you think is what you think. But he said, your thoughts is not my thoughts and your ways is not my ways. So I'm trying to get the right order that God wanted and God wanted man to be in head of a woman in every era. And I think that means as pastoring too. Do that make sense? I love you out there. I love you men. I love you women. And you overseers, women that's overseers in churches, keep doing the will of God because you got to face Jesus Christ. And he's going to ask you, what was you doing if that was wrong or if you was doing it right? I don't know. I haven't died and faced Jesus yet. But God bless you all. Have a good weekend. And remember this. If you see a problem, fix a problem. And I guarantee if you work this Bible like you're supposed to, I'll see you on top. I love you all.